welcome to another three. 12, 3, 30. You like my song? 12, 3, 30. Like well, you're, yeah. See, we can yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> hey guys. Whoo. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hey Derek, welcome. <sighs> We're doing it early today. Song I wrote might have to sing it. No, for no, don't worry. <sighs> Be happy. Landlord says your rent is late. Damn, 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 damn. That's kind of bad advice, hey? Just bit. don't worry. Don't worry about it. it. Just don't worry about it. Yeah, when you're worried, just think about this song and be happy. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, Bob Marley. That's 12, 3, 30, Marley. Queen. 12. That song is not by Bob Marley. Oh, who's it at? It's by what? a different guy it's named It's not? Bob. No, it's definitely not. Huh. It's by a different guy named Bob. Logan Paul or Jake Paul? I'd I say, always thought it was by Bob Marley. I'd say Jake Paul. I do not know the difference or care. <laughs> or care to know. What is new today? What's new? It's a beautiful day. What's new? Uh, like in general? Yeah. No, oh, not much. Give me one general, one specific. <laughs> general. In <laughs> yeah. general, what's new? Um, well, we're closer to uh, Halloween now. Thank you, Sergio, for following. Trump or guys, don't bring that man up on here. Come on. Um, what's new with you though? Thank you. Keeping fit. That's right. We're saying fit. We're saying winter or fall. Me? Yeah. Winter. You know what? Winter. Doesn't fall just feel like a waiting period? Kind of. Yeah. It feels like. Yeah, it feels like a waiting period to me. I don't know. It feels like winter a feels like the winter time. Like it is a time, you know. Fall feels like a transitionary, a transitionary holiday. Congrats on the half marathon! Thank you, thank you so much. It was so fun. Uh, summer or winter? Summer. What are you thinking? Uh, probably. Summer. Thank you, Jasser and Maria and Slab for following. By the way, nothing much. I'm making a bungee jump. How? Who doesn't love summer? What about you guys? Summer or winter? Love the outfit. It's not Gymshark. This is Lulu. And then the leggings are some Amazon store. I have no idea. Uh, sneakers are Hoka's. I think they're the Mach 5's. Yeah. And socks are Puma. <laughs> oh, oh, winter over oh, year. Really? Landlord says your rent is late. Might have to. Is it litigate? I think so. Litigate. Yeah. Don't worry. So who sure. is it by? It's by a different guy named Bob. What's his last name? It's like Bob. Uh, I want to say Womack. Really? Yeah. Wow. And you know he uh, committed suicide due to. Uh, You're joking. Uh, mm -hmm. Depression. I, I don't know if that's true or not, but I mean, I'm, I'm just going to say it out there as a fact. Okay, back. The, that wrote the song did, not the guy that sang it. Oh, the guy who wrote the song. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. See, it's not good advice. It's just not good advice. Yeah, that's probably what happened to him. I don't know. I don't think that's good advice. Because if you're if your life is falling apart, like 
you know people say like it's all in your head yeah like there's a lot that you can change by changing your mentality but your life is falling apart you gotta fix that <laughs> you know what I mean like what I don't know Thank you, Kendall, for following as well. Appreciate you. Love the fact that you're un that you're that you're motivated today. Thank you. I'm here every day, y'all. Little did you know, I'm here every day. Get on no zoom. Look at that Get on no zoom. Wow. Yeah. He's you so know cool. one thing that yeah. might be confusing? Yeah. Is Bob Marley made a song called Three Little Birds. That yeah. That goes, don't worry about a thing. Oh. Now that song. Oh. Yeah. Might be confused with "Don't worry, be happy" yeah. by another guy named Bob. So, like, how uh, confusing is that? Oh, he's saying, "Don't worry about a thing." Is that him? Yeah. Cause every little thing's gonna be alright. That was Bob Marley. Baby, he don't worry about a thing. But Bobby Womack said, "Don't worry, be happy." It's gonna be alright. Rise up. Rising sun, three little birds at my doorstep. Real talk, the most active person in the tick. I don't know what that means. Oh, on the TikTok? On You're the telling TikTok. me on the talk? You're talking about me right now on the talk? With all due respect, you're gorgeous. Thank you. If you could live in any fictional world, where would you choose? That's a good question. Think about that. Let me think hard. Sheesh, that's a good one. Like, do I stay the same, or do I like if I go to the Lord of the Rings, do I get to be? No, a I wizard? think I think you can choose what you get to be out there, right? You get to choose what like, you. Like, do I stay a human? Yeah. And if I yeah, go like to, if I go to Harry Potter, I get to be a wizard, though, right? If if I go to like if I go to Shadowhunters, I get to be a shadow hunter, right? Or like if I choose to be a vampire, I, I get to, to live like, forever. Thank you for the cowboy hat. If I go to like Star Wars, do I get to be like I would uh, live in candy freaking Wookiee or something, or am I yeah, just like, a guy? Do I get to choose what I get to be in the <laughs> fantasy land, or do I just get to be in the fantasy land? Because if I just get to be in the fantasy land, then I don't, I'm gonna get FOMO. I don't even want to go. That's yeah, so like, sad. If I go, if I go to like the Lego land, or thank you, Alec, like, for like, home. Am I a Lego? I'm not Kurdish, but I'm Iraqi. Iraqi. Um. <sighs> yeah. A good one what are you thinking i kind of want one that gives me like immortality i don't know if immortality is really that great though i don't know like, i don't know what the vibe is after this so i mean i, I like it here i kind of want to go to the lord know. of the rings and meet some i would be shrek you, know you go mean? to lord of the rings i want to be gandalf <laughs> current, or, or, current I, state to be no it's current state i want to be the guy current there. state to be teleported there you have to stay in your current state. So where do you where do you go? So if I go to the land from the Lego movie, like Lego Land, yeah, am I still the same size, or do I am I the size of the Lego man? Uh, you're in your current state. So like, am I like a giant to the Lego? I guess yeah. Lego Land. Yeah. That's not a good example because then you're just playing with Lego still. <laughs> you can do that in this. Movie. Yeah, like I feel like it, nothing's changed. Um, that's a tricky one. So I have to stay a human, but I can go to any fantasy world. Ugh. I need to think about this. What would you guys do? Toy Story? What would you do in Toy Story? That's, again, that's just like being here. If you get to go in your current state, okay, your toys are real. Yay. I guess like, that's pretty cool. Toy yeah, but like, would you not want to go somewhere where there's wizards and werewolves and like, you know, it's crazy stuff? Well, Pegasus? Well, I'm not going to Harry Potter. I want to ride on my Pegasus to work. Fine, I get to be human. But can I still ride on my Pegasus to work? Fly in the sky, magical things, or am I just, uh, am I just like in the mundane world? Yeah, well, that's why I said if I was in the Lord of the Rings, you know, Aragorn is a 
just a regular bed, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, but that's a lot. Like, you're gonna, something bad's gonna happen to you in that world. I would, I would, I would have a sword. I'd, I'd, okay. I'd be fine. I'd be fine. I'd get a sword and I'd meet. I'd meet. I'd I don't meet. like that I have to stay human. I want no. I want to wreck it, Ralph. I'd go to Back to the Future movie. I mean, that's, that? it's like a movie with a time machine. So you can go anywhere. Oh, you thought about this. You thought about this. Hmm, that's so tricky, hey? I don't know. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah. <sighs> Can't say. I want to go somewhere magical, though. I think that would be fun. Um, is this me or did my lighting get really light all of a sudden? What Maybe. I think the sun went behind a cloud. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, Raluca, for following. Chronicles of Narnia. I forget how that one goes. They go into the closet and they like, go into a magical world. And the lion is like a... Uh... He's like, yeah, other than that, I've kind of forgotten too. I don't really remember anything else besides the That's lines. the issue too. I feel like I've forgotten all my favorite like fantasy books. Because last time I read a fantasy book was when I was probably like 13. So, I feel like I need a refresher. But I was obsessed with those type of books when I was younger. Like Percy Jackson's world would be pretty cool. I've never seen that. What? Or, or read it. I've never even what? seen What? I feel like, okay, I feel like I want to show it to you, but I feel like it's the type of movie that was only good when I was 10. Yeah, like, when you and watch it's going to be embarrassing to show it to you. No, you know what's the funniest is Spy Kids. Yeah, Spy Kids was good. If you go back and you watch Spy Kids now, though, I bet you it's the worst movie of all time. Like, I'm calling it right now. I thought it was, like, the coolest movie when I was 10. Now, it's probably the worst movie of all time. I like it to keep it real realistic, TBH. Hi. Yeah, I'd probably go back to the Spy Kids world. What would you do there? Yeah, I'd just be a spy. Okay. <laughs> Current state, though, you're not a spy here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure the, the kids in Spy Kids were regular kids. Oh. They just had like technology. They had like jetpacks or whatever. I don't know. I would go to some like futuristic world. I feel like because if I have to be a human then I don't want to stay, I don't want to go somewhere like that, it's just other people have the powers. So you're onto something with that. Yeah. I want to get the powers, so I'll go somewhere magical. Did they open the yogurt room yet or no? I don't think so. So crazy. What's like a futuristic, like Ben 10? Ben 10? Yeah. Or like, I want to be like, no. I don't know. Futuristic one. You know, like he had that cool thing, like he was regular. He just had cool yeah, guys. He had like a, a watch. Did you go to Pokemon? I'd go to Pokemon World. Then yeah. you could be a Pokemon master. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. Because Ash Thank you guys for the compliments, by the way. He didn't have any magical powers. He just what? had Pokeballs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I would catch a Snorlax. What? Oh, I feel like he'd be a chill guy. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like he probably just sleeps and stuff, you know? He's probably... Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are my mods on? Are my mods on? Don't say weird things to me. So if you could speak any language fluently, which one would it be? Another good question. Hmm, what do you think? That's a tough one. Well, for communication purposes, the best would be Mandarin. Because you could then talk to more than half the world, I think. Yeah, but like, what are you going to do with that? Is there ever a time in your life right now where you're like, shucks. Wish I knew Mandarin, like... Well, you could just, you just have access to more people face-to-face -face now. Like, like okay. basically, if you know English and Mandarin, I think this is true. It's because somebody talk. said, I want to learn his game. You can, <laughs> you can talk to more than half the world. Thank you, K. Gianna, for following. You know what I mean? 
Like, uh, that's a good one. Hmm. I feel like for some reason I'm drawn to Japanese. Because I feel like the Japanese culture is, so, is one where, like, they don't let outsiders in, you know? Right. So you get to finally be in. I think it's such a beautiful and, like, cool culture. I've just always been, like, fascinated by Japan. So... I don't know why my first thought is Japanese. What about, are we allowed to pick extinct languages? I think so. This okay. guy's saying Spanish, so. The guy asking the questions. I would, I would learn uh, the language of the, uh, the ancient Indus Valley civilization who... What would you use it for? Well, then I would read their tablets. And oh! I would, I would, they, they have ancient history written down on tablets in I'm a not foreign language that nobody can understand. So I learned that one, and then I would have knowledge. Why do you think many people aren't getting married these days? Cultural reasons, Just I think. Just cultural. The culture is changing. Uh, it's not like taboo anymore to get divorced. So I think like the sacredness of marriage kind of isn't what it used to be. So back in the day, you didn't know a lot of people who got divorced. But if you're like an average like 25 year old now, you you know like at least a handful of couples that have gotten divorced and like it's such a stressful time in their lives and stuff. So I feel like that would deter you. And then also people just aren't doing the traditional like ABC thing anymore, you know? It's not just always get married, have a bunch of kids, your wife stays home, yellow. You know what I mean? Yellow. So I don't know, to each their own though. Like I don't care what anybody does, you know what I mean? Um, they can get married if they want, they cannot get married if they want. Everyone has their... Everyone has their choice. Burn 100 calories for me, I'm overeating here. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I don't even think I burn 100 calories doing this. I've been walking so slow. <sighs> Does your husband mind you being so public? Do, do I you mind? mind? Yeah, do you mind? <laughs> I don't mind, I mean... No, I don't mind it. Everybody's different? Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like for us, like, we, ha I have, or we have pretty good, like, boundaries of what I post, what I don't. You know, we have a big, we have a lot outside of social media. Obviously, I only have, like, 20K on here, only, like, less than 10,000 on, on YouTube. So it's not linked to our careers at all. It's not linked to our personal lives. Uh, so, yeah, this is just like a tiny little, you know. And we and I keep things, even though it might seem like it's open, I definitely keep things very private. Like, there's only so much that I will share online. Why do I personally do it to grow my page? I mean, let's be real here, to monetize it, I think I can be honest, because it's not like I'm asking you for the money, it's just the views that get me the money. So, yeah. Does he have his own page? He does. Yes, he does. I think he started it after mine, like, he did, he started it after mine. Like, I started, like, near the end of 2022, and I think once... Once you started seeing some of the checks coming in, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the brand deals you can get, like there's just opportunities. There's so many opportunities. So, he started it too. Thank you, Kaya. <laughs> That's funny. He doesn't need to start it to keep tabs on me. Why would him starting a page help him keep tabs on me? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. That would be like, that, it would be, that would make more sense. You can't get paid off the creator fund. If they thought on that TikTok. I had a secret account that I only used to like, stalk me. Snoop your content. But then why wouldn't you just go on my phone? Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like, if I need Like, to we're married. Tabs, we know each other's passwords on everything. I would just keep tabs on you secretly or whatever. Like, yeah. like why would I have to have a page for that? <laughs> I have a page that's just about my own interests and passions. Yeah, like, he, he made a YouTube channel about hockey. Yeah, so you can't get the creator fund on TikTok, but you can still get endorsements, brand deals, music deals. Um, you can get gifts on TikTok. And then on YouTube, there is the partnership program. 
So on there you do get it based on your views, and then you can also get tips, gifts, blah, 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 and then brand deals, obviously. And then aside from that, like just being online and having something that you love online, like for me it's, my videos on YouTube is mostly about running and my hair products, beauty products, you just get free stuff, y'all. Like it's already things I would have bought in. Like I've gotten free leggings, sports shampoo. bras, shampoo, um, skincare products, conditioner, conditioner, just stuff that I already am passionate clothes. about and love. Clothes, and then also you can get yeah monetization from making like a part uh, a paid partnership video. You know what I mean? So there is ways to make money aside from the creator fund. And for each, pe for each person, it's different. I think I've gotten very lucky for my size. I think I've made a lot more income than other people have. From the girls and guy people that I know that are at my level, I think I'm, I get really lucky. Probably. I do. I know I do. Because I, already, I know a girl that's my size that has never gotten a paid brand deal. Like she gets tons of free stuff, but she's never gotten a paid partnership. Wow. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I can't. Sometimes you're just more easily, you know... If you keep it really clean and non-messy, it's easier for brands to use you. And since I'm married, I don't talk about no ex drama. I don't talk about, you know what I mean? I keep it very professional. I keep it very demure on here. I don't do over inappropriate content. You know what I mean? So I think I'm a really easy person to use on a on ad. You know? Yeah, you can be a good representative. Yeah. For anybody. Yeah. And then I have my niches, but I'm spread out. Running, beauty, food, you know? Yeah. It's because your eyes. <laughs> Thank you. Tell them, Zara. I'm telling them. I'm telling them. So, you, so your favorite conspiracy theory. Say wow. your favorite conspiracy theory, even if you don't believe it. Hmm. My favorite one or anyone? Have you ever tripped on a treadmill? Do you want to hear my favorite one? Uh, no, one? I haven't. <laughs> Knock on the wood. Because I got a lot. Your favorite one. Your favorite conspiracy theory. Favorite one is probably the... The moon landing. No, that one doesn't... That one just, that one's just like a piece of the biggest puzzle. Thank you, Sankar, for following. Probably like the Illuminati. He's really into it. That's just a piece. <laughs> the Illuminati. Like Sounds a, scary. A secret like shadow that. government that has been ruling the world. For literally thousands and thousands, thousands. of years. Why are you saying like Arnold? Thousands, thousands and years. thousands of years. Thank you, Marvel, for following. Thousands of years have gone by, and there's been like one ruling class that has always secretly pulled the strings of all the world mm. events, including you know anything big and technology, and like they know a bunch of secrets about like everything, like even the moon landing, you know, or whatever. And yeah. Maybe they have technology that we don't even, we can't even comprehend. Maybe they had it like thousands and thousands of years ago, back in before, you hey, know. This is scaring me. Can we choose a subject? Well, it's just a conspiracy theory. It's not proven. Are we doing anything for Halloween? Thank you, Ernie, for following. Er, Henry, sorry. Should we do something for Halloween? Like, what do you do, though? We're adults. I mean, we're adults, if, yeah. If I had a kid, I'd take them trick-or-treating. That would be the, the end of it. I mean, do you want to carve a pumpkin? We could, I don't care. Oh, it's gonna get stinky. It's no. a waste of food. Um, Why would it get stinky? Like once you leave it out, you know, it gets stinky. Oh, like it to throw it out. Yeah. yeah, it starts to stink. Um, haunted house. We've done that. We've done that. Do you want to go to a haunted house? Sure. I'm good. No? You know, let's watch a scary movie. Wait. Let's get that movie that I want to watch. Let's we'll get, get it. We'll get the scary movie. I want to watch Woman of the Hour. It's like a scary movie. It's based on a true story. It's available for purchase. It's available for purchase. We didn't watch it because we wanted to watch it, and then we found out it's $20, and then we just watched something else. But now I'm thinking, that kid's so cute. Now I'm thinking, get a VR and watch something scary. Oh, my God. VR would be such a good thing for scary stuff. Oh, my um, cousins have a VR, like, set. The only time I ever did VR. Tell him I found the conspiracy interesting. You shut him down. I get scared of things like that. I don't want to talk about it. Okay? <laughs> How many sets I get in daily? A lot of sets, y'all. Try to get my 10,000. Try to, um... 
I have, but like not a really hard one. But yeah, I had a VR set that was, my cousins had it and it was crazy, you guys. We would do VR haunted houses. It was insane. It was insane, it was so scary. We did one on my grandma and everybody was so scared that she was gonna like have a heart attack. But we still did it. Don't do it. Can't believe we did that to her. <laughs> she was sitting on her little chair that she always sits on smoking her cigarette. And then like the demon lady comes up behind her and jump scares her in the oh VR. Oh my god. I can't. And she was she was laughing. She was such a That's so cool. Huh? Yeah. Poker is the best on VR. Poker? Oh, okay, I guess. I think it would be. That makes sense. Holding a cigarette. Because no, I, she smokes a cigarette. If you were playing poker. Did I do this? Oh, I meant to do that. And you're in a virtual world, you wouldn't be able to like show your facial expressions. Unless the VR is that advanced nowadays, but it can help you uh, hide your uh, secrets or whatever. Having a G grandma, like I have like a, you know, I have one of those grandmas, guys. Like that one in a million grandma. A G mom. Yeah. Like, she's just a, she's just a gangster. You know what I mean? And she knows it. And nobody can tell her anything. Like, ugh. You know? So much better than a cookie baking grandma. I don't want y'all's grandmas. Okay? I want my cool grandma. Thank you, Schmeetz, for following. Even though she's born and raised in Iraq, like, somehow she just, you know, she doesn't care. And no one can tell her anything. She's a rebel. Sounds like Granny got moves. She does. She does. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, the whole time I was there, she never cooked. Let's see what it's like. Hello. Hi. What are the machines like? Pretty good. Pretty good machines, yeah. I think this one's down. I don't know. The handlebars are loose. It's all good though. And then they have a yoga room, but I don't think they've opened it yet. Huh? They have a yoga room over there. Yeah, they're waiting for equipment. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm looking right now. Gotcha. Oh, well, the yoga Thank you. 